Well, we do love to celebrate success here on Leeds TV and our next guest will be sort of over the moon, you could say, as uh, the Sir Patrick Moore Medal has been won, the Royal Astronomical Society Sir Patrick Moore Medal has been won by a teacher from Full Neck School here in Pudsey. We have Dr. Carolyn Neuberg here. Carolyn, lovely to meet you and lovely congratulations you. on your you. award. And um, what was your reaction when you found out that you'd won this? You stole on my word. I think I was over the moon, as you said. <laughs> Sir Patrick Moore is obviously an icon and to be compared or to receive this medal was absolutely amazing. So this award was uh, received for the work that I've started with uh, the School of Earth and Environment of Leeds University in Geophysics with the Royal Society but also with the Ogden Trust that is a trust that helps physics teacher connect and basically get better as physics. One of the real reasons is also seismology. So I started this with Leeds University and you have here a seismometer which we have in the class room for the last five to ten years I would think. So this <laughs> one go. comes from actually White Island Volcano and the scientists were actually getting rid of it because as you can see it's been impacted by a volcanic eruption but suddenly for students this is still a grey box. So our idea, the, the work that we've done with Ted Channel and Casper uh, Van Vick from Oakland University was to work with something which is by far more pedagogic, which we can see basically what's happening. So the TC1 is located in this position here. So you have here a little uh, explanation of how it actually works. And what you can see is that since we are standing here on the side, it has been vibrating and recording all of our movement. We connected with Oakland University and we con continuously record the data too. So when I worked in New Zealand, I installed a network of uh, 10 seismometers, and I'm trying to reproduce this here in the country so that we can really share this passion for science. And you, you mentioned your uh, you know, geophysics and seismology passion there. Uh -huh. What's it like passing that passion on to the youngsters here at Full Neck School? Well, as a teacher, you can be really blocked by this syllabus. You have to teach the syllabus, and we do that really well. But what's really exciting is to realize that what we teach actually has some implication. And when you know that within the next decade, the UK could potentially be lacking 1.8 million engineers, there's a right need to pass on this passion for science. And with science, it can take you to space. So I'm, I'm really hoping that I get my student to dream of a job that will be really a fulfilling career and that's my aim really.